Hello again and welcome back to Legally Sighted. This is Jesse here and I am back for another Low Vision Spotlight game video. And believe it or not, we are taking a look at a game that I have covered on the channel way back in, I want to say 2015, 2016 the latest. At the time it was in early access, but uh, I forgot about it for a while. Uh, looking through my hard drive and my Steam library again, seeing what was all installed, and I came across this gem, um, Takeover. And it is uh, pretty dang cool. I went back just for fun, and I'm like, God, I was playing this earlier today, and I'm like, God, this seems really familiar. So I looked on my channel, and I'm like, oh yeah, I did cover this in early access, so I watched a little bit of that video. <laughs> And then remembering what I played earlier today, yeah, they have definitely made some changes, made, or made some updates, and the game looks a lot better, a little bit different, a lot more lighting and stuff like that. So let's just dive right in. This is the Takeover, and it is another uh, 2D brawler, a la Double Dragon Final Fight. And uh, like another one I've been playing fairly recently as I'm recording this, um, Fight and Rage. It's got some pretty rad shredding going on in the background right now. It's got a pretty rocking soundtrack. So I'm going to hit A. Got our Xbox One controller here. Now, it is large text, but it does blend in a fair bit. Um, especially some of the stuff on the right-hand side. Um, you know, just you've got the kind of horizontal menu, but then you've got a couple of columns. I am going to go under options because I do want to make sure, yeah, I've tried this on normal and I got pretty far, but like for the video, this is just chaos, so I'm going to crank her down to easy, I don't care, you can make fun of me if you want, I don't really care. Uh, but we're going to go arcade. Now we have three guys that we can uh, play, and it tells each one of them has different stats. we got Big Brute here. We got our medium, and then we got our, you know, kind of our all-around guy. And then we have our female character, who is naturally your speedy person. And I've played a little bit of all three, and there are things I like and don't like about all of them. I'm going to go for the middle of the road. This guy I kind of get yeah. kicked out of. Okay, and we're just going to start. Vanessa? Go away. Vanessa? Mouse. I love this comic book style. This was not fully in the original. There was a tiny glimpse of it. So Vanessa is her daughter. You'll find out. That's the, the chick that you would play if I selected her. Flip phone! <laughs> Remember those? Nice. Ah, this yellow and black sports car. Yeah, babe? What's wrong? Ethan. Ethan. Someone's taken Vanessa. And look at how nice and huge those subtitles are. Is there blood? No, not that I can see. But there well was a done. Struggle. Cops all over my precinct have been getting death threats. He's a cop? Be whoever's behind this new crime wave. I like the 80s synth. We took her in when no one else would. Comic. She's our daughter, Ethan. Damn right she is. Meet me <laughs> in the alley on 5th of Marcellus. I know where we might get some answers. Should I get in touch with Connor? All right, that Do is me. To ask? He's always ready for a fight. We're going oh, yeah. to get her back, Megan. I think Connor's his partner. I swear it. I know we will. See you there. I love the, the little comic book style panels and the little, um, yeah, like that, the little words, the little animations. That just looks badass. I like the way that looks. I really do. Gives me a comic zone vibe, and that's definitely a good thing. And it's voiced! Yay! All right, so here we are. We're going to be loading our first level here in just a second or two. Oh, God, I'm just getting a super Streets of Rage vibe right here. Just this music, the way it kicks in. The 
rainy, dark street. It's a pretty sick car you got going on there. And there's me, Connor. All right. So, I've got a jump. I have two attack buttons and a special. So what's cool is I can actually mix them up. That's a pretty good combo I uh, figured out that I like. Okay, I gotta pick these things up before they disappear. Ah, they disappeared. It's a little bit exact trying to get those little power-ups, so that was my bad. Now the difference with this also that I like, I don't have any ammo right now, but you do have a gun that you can pull out if things get serious. But you gotta collect ammo from people as they drop it. So I was hoping to grab something. through our first little area and this first level is really long there's probably like five or six different screens if I remember correctly there's quite a few okay man so many games have these arcades like I don't know this must be olden times because I miss I've said it before in other games that have this type of thing I miss arcades you know Granted, I hell, in some ways I just miss being with, uh, in person with people every once in a while, even a hermit like myself. Because I'm recording this in the midst of uh, social isolation or distancing, as it were, in 2020, the year of complete garbage. <laughs> Opportunity for ass kicking. This is double dragon, except for there's a couple that are censored. Like, you're always you're beating up like big dudes and little dudes, and even like women are in there, and there's just like the whole neighborhood. Everyone's at me. Okay. I'm 
over here. Get away from the center. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah. Okay, let's try this again. Bust up the gun. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Knee him a little bit. All right. So you do have a pretty good variety of different attacks, punches, kicks, throws, combos. I like it. And uh, I forget the lady's name already. Uh, she's got a lot of jumping attacks. Like, again, you can kind of get in on somebody and just... Oh, that's where you want to be? Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah. I think you're going to block. Block a bullet. Yeah, nice. Oh. Give me that. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, we got more. Oh man, I died on this I was hoping to get some health. Alright, you know what? Here. I can't dash. <laughs> you laugh it up, buddy. Damn it, I keep missing these power ups. You gotta be right on them, too. That's the thing. You gotta be right on them. Like, it's very picky about what, like, what level of the screen you're on before it'll actually happen. If I get these pickups, a large part of it, I'm not entirely positive, but I think a lot of it has to do with if I get a certain level combo, they'll drop more stuff. So it incentivizes you to play well and not suck. Money. Money. <laughs> I wish I lived in a house in a way because if I did, I would so buy one of those, hell, maybe even two of those one up cabinets. They have this Turtles in Time and Turtles Arcade game combo. They've got an NBA Jam com, uh, cabinet with some other stuff in there. I'm like, oh man. That's the one time it really sucks to be a gamer that doesn't have a lot of room in their apartment. I don't know really where that is. You know, I think they make all these uh, things for VR. Open a door. Like, I'll take it. Having space for arcade cabinets, especially the ones I want, are four player. Oh shit. Got it. Nice job. I wanted that item, so that's why I was trying to. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Just as, and, and the way he emphasizes that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I love the fact that they're making these like smaller scale, and these one-up cabinets are smaller scale. They're like what are they one third or something like that? 
size, and it's not just like, oh, you get an artwork for one game, but then they put uh, a lot of games, which is a classic map on one. Like I said, there's the power ones, there's also uh, some of these classic, like Pac Man, Mid Pac Man, all that kind of stuff. And it's like, oh, this Pac Man is really cool. I remember one of our friends had a baby Pac Man pinball machine where it was like part Pac Man, part short pinball tape. And that was the coolest thing. He had one of those little mates. I played the hell out of that one. He did. Got it through the Somebody had had it and they didn't want it anymore or something. So he got it. Oh, that's bad. Whoa! I think I hit all the buttons by accident. Trying to at least beat the first level here. But like I said, what are we on? Our, mm, yeah, that was our third because the arcade one was really long. So that little interlude was fairly short. All right, now we're back indoors again. Really nice lighting, too. I gotta say, this game looks quite good. I do really like the look of it. And even I just remember like, that first area with his car. It's on his car. Going back to the early access video, and like, oh wow, yeah, that is totally changed. Just the lighting in general. Lighting a lot better. I'll take it. Yeah. 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 I get out of the way, I get stuffed in the Yeah. Okay, we got the end now we got the Some barrels. Oh no, I'm so cool. So many barrels! What is it with barrels in these games? Oh yeah, okay, yeah. We got the indoor bar area here. And then it's really cool because uh, Yeah, there is a bar uh, biker bar level in uh, in uh whatchamacallit I was just playing, Fighting Rage. Yeah, this one's cool. I mean, you've got all kinds of biker dudes out there and just get so I start pulling up my gun because there's so many guys. And they get pretty horny. Money. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, I'm ammo. Well, it opened them up. Okay. There we go. At least I didn't go down. Yeah. 
Mm. Fuel up. Hell yeah. Fuel up, baby. I'll take that. Okay. Hey, how did that rate here? I got that one pretty fast. Grab the food, you chode. Oh. Okay, and keep on going. Money's money. Yep, money's money. Dirty money, dirty money. Gotta spend it somewhere. This will just be me playing basically the first level. This thing is, like I said, very long. Each one of these le each one of these areas is like a level in itself. I don't know how long the full game is, but you do eventually get a point where um, there is another cutscene or a little comment. I want my stuff. I'm just trying to grab all my stuff. I can't go break those tables. I can break that machine. There, get out. And of course that. Yeah, blow up. Yeah, I gotta beat it. So, so, okay, would you? I'll take it. That didn't quite go as planned. And the thing is, is like, not only do you have to be accurate, but like, if you're doing the direction and the B button to pick it up, it doesn't always seem to really work. So you really gotta be, you gotta stop and just hit something else. That. But you got dudes all around you, you're like, okay, I'm gonna I wanna pick up that thing, and then a second later, I wanna attack again. You a lot. Got him. Alright, got some ammo, got some food. Life is good. Eat and run. In our little bar restaurant there. Now we're gonna be back outside, I think, in the biker parking lot. Yep. That rain in that looks really good. I think this game just looks pretty great, actually. Oh dear. Oh. You a lot. Yeah. Maybe more help. You can do a little bit of back and forth, but it's not recommended all that often because you really want to beat as many dudes as you can in one direction. Look at how nice and big that print is. I wish it was voiced like the cutscenes are, though. That's my only complaint. And the guy with the flamethrower. Ow! Get away! Drinker. Okay. 
god, there's so many. Oh, this is going very good. Cool. This went way better than I played this last time. This could be cool. Oh, oh, yeah, flame. Out of ammo. This flamethrower bastard is gone. Go. <laughs> Oh. Oh, this is bad. oh, wow. Game over. And I should be able to continue, though, right there, which I will try to do, again, talking and playing at the same time. Not able to devote quite as much attention to every little detail, thus me dying early. Yeah, so we start here. I only lost a couple minutes of progress, so... I'm fine with that. I, just wish I, didn't. I had a lot more ammo when I came here last time. Money. More money. That's what yours. This guy seems more susceptible to my kicks. the best start, but here we are, we are back where we were. I had enough bullets to get me out a couple of those situations where I was really pinned down. Here we got a cutscene. This is good. So, are you ready to talk yet? Gah! I couldn't care less about your whelp. Yeah, he looks pretty beat up. pathetic city to burn and launch his fire. <laughs> this guy's a waste of time, Ethan. Put him out of his misery. Now let's see if this little birdie will sing. Oh, Gallagnos! He's at the auto body shop just past the St. Austin Tunnel! Was that so hard? Decent voice acting, too. Hey! Where you going? I mean, it reminds me of something you'd hear like a, out of a cartoon or an anime. I know the place. It's deep in gang territory, though. Could be a trap. Do you honestly care? Yeah. No. <laughs> I love it. So I'll show you a little bit of this next level, and then we will wrap up the video. Because honestly, I mean, other than just playing through it, which I might do, try to do on a stream in the future, um, there's not really a lot else to say. I mean, it's a beat-em-up. It came out of early access. And it seems pretty damn polished. If you're looking for a beat-em-up, there's been a few great ones. Um, just over the last several years, I mean, 
a couple that I've liked. Fight and Rage is a good one. There's just a part later on that is absolutely crap and frustrating. But overall, I love that game. Um, River City Girls has a nice little like, kind of anime tape on the game. Um, see, that's kind of doing that attack, and I couldn't grab that power because it's hitting a direction.
Oh, I missed that. Oh, okay, give me that. Didn't get them all. Can you? Collectibles there. Wow. This, this is a long section, too. So if you want a lot of gameplay, you definitely will have it here. This is a level. And the whole thing before up to that fighter bomb. That's one level. Oh. Oh dear. No, you will not. Unacceptable. Uh-oh. You know what? I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Joker. Uh oh, ran out of bullets. Put that open the box. You hold loose or do that here. Make it a little more of it. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, I remember. Yeah. This part is ass. Okay. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm gonna. Left. Oh, okay, they can come. Okay. I thought you had to do what you killed them all. Yeah, motorcycles. I remember other people that did something like that too. Yeah. Some of escape riders with a lot of motorcycles. Like bikers and stuff. definitely have to come back and try and fully beat this when I have more time. But for the sake of this video, uh, we'll wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, IllegallyCited.com, Twitch.tv slash IllegallyCited, and of course, you can like and subscribe to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel here, and until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.